Pakistani openers stayed intact, uh, but with 66, Imran Fahat with 55. There were 128 without loss at stumps. Good news for New Zealand is that Pakistan still trail low by 120 runs. And uh, it looks like the first ball of today in this first half hour will be bowled by Martin Guptill, part-time off-spinner. Hello to you wherever you are around the world. I think this could be a very interesting day's play indeed. Starts with a poor one. <laughs> Hit away. There is cover out there. It's Daryl Tuffy. But uh, I think this uh, could be a very interesting day. If New Zealand can pick up a couple of wickets in this first session and restrict Pakistan and not let them get away, Pakistan have to at least bat the whole day. Put any form of pressure on the Black Caps. Let's say they score 300 runs in a day. That only places them 200 a front. So I, I think they have to bat another four sessions from here to uh, to even consider themselves anywhere near safe in this test match, Craig McMillan. Yes, they do, Rich. Get Gone! Oh, oh it's worked! Martin Gupta has picked up a wicket in the first over of the day. It's Salma Bhatt, and he is absolutely devastated with himself. But, well, what, what a gamble has paid off here for Daniel Vittori. Well, they've sprung a surprise this morning with Gupta opening up. Captain's intuition, and it's worked. Look at that. Hit it straight back, pushed it with the hands. And that's the breakthrough New Zealand needed. So on but caught and bowled Gupta for 66. New Pakistan 129 for one. Faisal Iqbal comes out to bat the first over of the morning. Awesome turn there for Guptill as well. He looks more than the part-time. He looks pretty good. He looks very handy. As far as Salman Butt's concerned, he's better than just a part-time. All right, he's lulled him into a dreadful stroke. Wow, he's probably just as surprised as what we are to see Martin Guptill bowling the first over of the day. And it's worked a treat. I'll tell you what, that celebration, reminiscent of something else I've seen a few years back. Good opportunity for New Zealand to go bang, bang, pick up two quick wickets. Nice stroke. Just waited for it and punched it away. Relied on timing. Won't go all the way, just three. But a good, confident start for him. Oh, well, this has not hit that well, but he'll get away with it. It was uh, skewed just a little bit, but that's aggressive. Very aggressive. Fires a wood bow. Use good use of the feet. Got down close to the ball. Nice and early and quick. Good shot straight back over Guptill's head. No, he didn't get it perfectly. It wasn't right there. Oh, yeah. well, this one's a bit edgy. Good cup. If I was Daniel Vittori, I wouldn't mind what I'm seeing from Faisal Iqbal facing Guptul. Oh! oh, that was a little aerial too. It's close. That's a bit closer than it looks, but not close enough. Having a wee think about it here. Daniel Vittori. Always hard coming around the wicket here. He's hit him in line. I think that's hit a just down leg side. Height is height an issue as well. I think height's okay. Catch! Oh, he's got a go. He's got another one. Oh, can you believe that? Martin Gardner's got two cotton bowls. What is going on? Martin Guptill has got a second wicket this morning. Same mode of dismissal, caught and bowled, catching practice. And we know how good his hands are. What a bowler he's proving to be this morning.
and run Fahat's long innings has come to an end at 61. Kornbog Guptil, Pakistan now two for 146. Mohammed Yusuf, the experience and the quality bat in this Pakistan batting side comes out to bat. The fall of the second wicket. Both of them to Martin Guptil. Yeah, it's probably a good thing that Imran Fahat and Salman Butt leave and the captain comes in because I don't imagine they'd want to look the skipper in the eye right now. Oh, a great shot. Really is a beauty off the back foot. He's an elegant player. He just doesn't get the big scores. A bit of aggression there from Fasil Iqbal. Rocked back and... Uh, Played it through the cover point region. <laughs> Nicely played, and that'll run away for four. Good timing there from the Pakistani, Pakistani skipper. Played it very late. He let the ball come to him, and then uh, that's what. Uh, He's good at it. He's just so good when he when he can feel the ball right under the bat. Look at this. Beautifully played. Played it very late and explored the gap. And that's the line where uh, you need to bowl. I know it's gone for runs, but uh, that's where you're going to pick up wickets. Maybe a touch shorter than that. But you have to bowl fuller to pick up a wicket on this pitch. Yeah, I think you get much more chance if you've got the batsman playing shots. <laughs> Uh, very lazy of Muhammad Yusuf. He could have easily just uh, knocked it off bail off. And he was just uh, watching it. Just an inch or two in it. Oh, yes, one, mate. One, one, one. Go, go. Oh, he's cut it off. He, oh, and if he'd got it the first time, was it Guptal? Oh, <laughs> how about three in one hour? It just needed to stick, and then he could have flicked it up. He does that brilliantly most of the time. Here it is. It just got away from him twice. Oh, that sounded good. That sounded very good. No shake of the head. I think this will be reviewed. Yep, there we go. Brendan McCullum seems absolutely adamant that there's some bad in this. All glove. I didn't kind of feel it was a snick. It's a bit more of a thud, which could be pad. So Simon Telfel's in the uh, prime seat at the moment. Hot spot. Now... Nothing on hot spot. What does this hit? Oh, it's five head. Yep. Oh, wicket keepers. He was adamant. It was Brendan McCullum. Yeah, you can see that hit the thigh pad there. I think that's pretty clear from this angle. That's a good angle indeed. Yeah, thigh pad, all thigh pad. Billy Doctrow, as, uh, as we are talking to you, and he says, OK, Hello. Billy, not out. Good stuff. And the one referral lost. Oh, that's good. That's got to be worth a shout. Surely. Doesn't look like there's going to be a review. 168 for two. 